On this episode of Apartment Living Radio, Bedbug ID Part 3. We've been talking to P.R. Olson from Olson Pest Technicians about identifying bed bugs and how important it is to identify bed bugs in order to eradicate the problem or simply get rid of the nuisance. Specifically in apartment homes, what do you find most often to be a key component in identifying bed bugs in apartments? If a person can communicate with their neighbors, build a relationship with their neighbors, and you know, communication is the biggest thing on these things. If they can communicate amongst themselves, just finding out if they're having types of issues like that. Most cases when we find issues on apartments is in the bedrooms, and most apartments are set up to where headboards in one apartment with an adjacent wall to the next apartment also has a headboard against it. So those type of situations are, are really things we like to inspect. So when you have headboard to headboard like that in, in apartments, if you have one unit with bed bugs, they will go right through that wall into the next unit possibly. We need to be vigilant on doing the inspections on those apartments. I want to go back to this. Is there potentially a delayed warning sign? You might not notice a bite for a couple of days. What were you talking about? This is identifying the problem and it's very hard to find a low infestation because they don't always stand up and yell, we're here right away. Correct. Most cases when people get bit by a bed bug, that bite will not show up for a couple days. People think of like mosquito bites that I start seeing that welt right now. A bed bug bite will not happen like that. You're going to go possibly a couple days before you start seeing that. So by the time you've got people calling your office saying, hey, we've got bites, then you've really got to do some detective work to determine, number one, if it is bed bugs. But you know that if it is bed bugs, that they've been present at least a couple days. Correct. That's why you ask, well, have you been on a trip recently? Did somebody come over for a visit? You're looking for any way that they would have been potentially transported into a non-bed bug environment. Correct. Correct. Very interesting. Another great avenue for information is pestworld.org. That's put on by the National Pest Management Association. And that's a great website for getting information. Pestworld.org. We'll put that in the show notes, PR, so that our listeners can go and find that. Uh, the show notes page on apartmentlivingradio.com for the Bedbug series. Join the conversation. Our website is apartmentlivingradio.com. You can find the show notes for this series, including those resources we've been discussing, like pestworld.org. You can connect to our Facebook and Twitter pages and even subscribe to this station on iTunes. Apartment Living.